Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie. Lemon Pest is somewhere, I promise you that. And today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we came here back to Ryujin after our successful trip to Infinity LTD. So, let's get into it. Shoop. Ha ha ha. Yes, indeed. Come on, Lemon Pest, we are the conquering heroes of Ryujin. We freaking did it, baby. Bam. Neon is the perfect place for you to start your corporate life. I picture you as an executive with a seven-figure salary and a corner office. Ah, can't be tied down, Lemon Pest. Can't be tied down. I like being out in space too much. But, I mean, nice suggestion. Oh, okay. Hello! Masako. I've yet to hear anything of note on SSNN. Let's hear your report. Well, yes. Not a single hitch. David Barron should be running the story any minute. Good. David won't be able to resist a story like this. Oh, no. He'll do some preliminary confirmations, which will be enough to get the broadcast out to the public. And how did the neuro amp perform? Um, it was, yeah, it was extremely useful. I thought it would be. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Yep. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, no. Dave. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Here we go. Yes, yes. thank you. Infinity LTD and Lucas Drexler are currently under investigation for a number of violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. Too true. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. All right. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So, this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Um, hmm. Ryujin buys Infinity LTD and no one loses their job. Quite right. Bingo. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. Okay. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. Hmm. Sounds like a win-win to me. I'm glad we're on the same page. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. I see. Hmm. If they don't agree, I'll be sure to make them listen. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. All right. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. 13,000 creds. Well made. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's go and speak to these these people. Start with Ularu first. Alright. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Um, hmm... Well, not with that attitude. You can make light of the situation, but my stance won't change. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. 
This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Reckon? Um, well... You are all seemingly way too eager to use the neuro amp on each other, you know. Oh? Your response tells me Masako must have given you similar advice. It'd be unlike her to not fully exploit an advantage. Especially when she believes acquiring Infinity is the right thing to do. Well, you know... Why are you so against it? The corporate world will hear SSNN's story and believe Ryujin exposed Infinity because they stole from us. It sends a strong message. But acquiring Infinity could be interpreted as a safety net. Infinity tried to screw us over, yet they still survived. We need to be sending a much stronger message. If you mess with Ryujin, we'll shut you down. Period. Uh, well, I mean, I appreciate that, you know. But... It is heartless to let Infinity die when you know there are benefits to acquiring them. You could make a lot of money, public perception, yada yada. Ryujin Industries isn't a corporation built on heart. I think you know that. The benefits may exist, but the message will be stronger. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. Certainly should. Hmm. Yeah, with the internal neuron, best interests don't matter. It can just guarantee success on its own. I can only imagine the contracts that will be pouring in. We'd almost be literally in control of anything we wanted. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. I'm sure you do, madam. All right, lemon pest, come along. I knew she was going to be a nightmare, so it's no shock. All right. Hello. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. Excuse me? Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. I see. Um, well, all right. That's because I really am the best source available. I doubt that. But moving on. Rude. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Yep. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Um, hmm. Yeah, the majority of them are innocent. They didn't know what was going on. Oh, I didn't mean in regards to Drexler's actions. Oh. More in the sense of should a superior company like Ryujin make room for so many potentially lackluster employees? Because many of them might not be lackluster. You know? Hmm. Yeah, we'd be getting employees on Infinity's cheaper salary numbers. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. There you go. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? She did all right, you know. She did all right. I think it was well handled, and it proves how capable she is. And why do you feel it was well handled? Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. Well... Yeah, they had a plan in place, Masako and Dalton, to uncover them all, so... Yeah. Being prepared for anything is a great asset. One that Masako excels at. Boom. There you go. I appreciate the insight. 
I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. Where well, I'll tell you why. Um, what are your thoughts on the Neuroamp? It's the next big step for Ryujin Industries. Financially, it'll keep us secure for years to come. Cool. There's no doubt it's our future. Then there's, yeah, nothing I can think of. See you at the meeting. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. Alright. Well, enjoy. Hey! Hello! Hey there. Bina. And how's my favorite patient doing? Oh. Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm fine, you know? Um... I feel great. No side effects as far as I can tell. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. Whew. Yeah, it changes everything. You're gonna be famous. I'd be the next Ray DeCaris, my Who's childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? Demarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, mm -hmm. what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? Well, there is bound to be something, you know, new and inspiring in their research, maybe. You might find your next big thing. That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? Uh-huh. See you in there. Favorite patient, eh? Don't fall in love with me, kid. Hello? Genevieve. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? No. Um... I didn't realize there were sides to take. In this business, there's always a side. And right now, I'm backing Masako. Good news. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. Good to know. Good to know. Um, hmm. Yes, coming to the rescue of all those innocent workers will really look good for us. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, you know, if you want to keep Ryujin in the public's good graces, there is one big thing to consider. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. Hmm. Yeah, it's a game changer, but it does need strict guidance, you know? Don't I know it. I think Alexis and I are truly going to have our work cut out for one another. We'll discuss security ramifications with Dalton, and I'm sure there are alterations, safety nets, if you will, that we'll need from Vina. It's sure to be quite the undertaking. Uh-huh. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. All right. Another one bites the dust. Okay. At least if you're here, you're not screwing up out there. Don't be rude to me, madam. <sighs> Great. The bane of my department. Me? If you need something, make it quick. What did I do? Um, hmm. How am I the bane of your department? Yeah. You don't recall our conversation after you were hired. Any legal troubles you cause are my troubles. Steer clear of law enforcement. You've been very busy, and therefore I've been very busy. Hey, that was Lemon Pest, not me. Come on now. I mean, I know he's an idiot, but, well... I heard you're not a fan of acquiring Infinity LTD. You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. Uh, I mean, legal issues aside, the pros of acquiring them are far outweigh the cons. Come on now. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. Well, I'll tell you why. Um, 
Yeah. The business benefits far outweigh any legal issues. And credits are king. When it comes to profit, I suppose all my arguments do fall short. Yeah, uh huh. Um. Yeah, you can't tell me that negotiating an airtight deal doesn't appeal to you. Come on now. I do pride myself on solid contracts. There you go. And this one would be especially challenging. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. <sighs> Flatterer. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Have you been preparing for having the internal neuroamp neuro on the market? Unfortunately. Half my department's been poring over documentation, while the other half is writing up what legal guidance they can. Well, hmm. The neuro amp, it'll make handling any situation a breeze. Come on now. Are you trying to add to my stress right now? All right. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. I mean, well... With proper legal guidance, the applications for the internal neuron are endless. Come on now. In an ideal situation, yes. And I suppose creating that ideal situation is within my power. Hmm. Now you've made it sound like a proper challenge that I can't help but accept. Yeah, uh huh? Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. Yeah, love you too, Alexis. And she does, Lemon Pest. I know she does. The way she looked up when I walked in that office. Come on now. Dalton, hello. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. Indeed. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Of course, I'm the one she's trusting to make things happen. That's because you're the one with the tool to do it. As long as Masako has the internal neuroamp on her side, she can't lose. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk. And look what happened. Well, I mean... <sighs> hmm. Project Dominion is essential to future success. It has risks, but it's nothing you can't handle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. As long as I'm fully aware of the risks, I can properly account for them. Good. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members set up with shielding as soon as possible. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. Eh. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. Well, yeah, the acquisition is worth the work, and I know your team can handle it. Come on, Dalton. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. Well, no. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Well, all right. Bloody well did it. Bloody well did it, Lemon Pest. Yes, we did. All right, let's go and get in this meeting. Um, out of my way and I'll keep do you want to just wait out here, Lemon Pest? I hope you're enjoying your new neuroamp. Perhaps you go and get the coffee order. Yeah. All right. Let's take a seat.
Hello. That is a big TV. Can we put some movies on? Guess that's a no way. Eh? Never mind. All right, everyone. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Hmm. Yeah, the announcement would garner public faith in Ryujin. This acquisition is sure to have its financial pitfalls, but as a wise person pointed out, it would have major payoffs in the future. Cheers, mate. Plus, with their current situation, Infinity LTD will be more affordable than ever. Arguments? We should be crushing our competition, not rescuing them from their own flaws. This is a weak decision, Masako, and you know it. In fact, I move that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. Nope. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Well, hmm. Yeah. Imogene is innocent. She played a vital role in helping expose Ularu. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Oh, hell yeah. Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. <laughs> I should at least have the opportunity to resign. Too late. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Yeah. Enjoy unemployment. Security. Escort Miss Chen to her office, and see that she stays put. You'll regret this. All of you. Nah. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right. Back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? If there's nothing else, this meeting is concluded. I'll be following up with a few of you shortly. Bam. All right. If only there were more hours in the day. Oh, don't say that. Bloody hell. Day's long enough as it is. I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. Dude. <sighs> Get out my grill, man. So bloody rude. What is wrong with you? I look better than you in this. Come on now. Lemon Pest, go and, I don't know, poop in his trash can or something. Good grief. Hello. So, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way, and we exposed the traitor among us. Yeah. Uh -huh. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. Try my best. Try my best. Um, hmm. I hope this means by getting a raise. Lyndon and I already had that conversation. And yes, you will be getting an increase in wages from now on. Very good. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. Eh, yes and no. You know? Huh. There's no pressure at all. These are the types of jobs I live for. 
I hope that enthusiasm sticks with you for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Uh -huh. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. Well, um... Thank you. It's well deserved. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. Well, hey ho. Hey ho. Lemon pest. We freaking did it, baby. All right. Well, let's mosey on down to the operations floor and go and see Ms. Imogene. Neon. If you head down any dark alleys, bring an espresso. It won't help you escape, but at least you'll be hydrated. I mean, yes and no. Coffee's a diuretic, you know. Makes you lose water. Okay. I hope I can wrap up this next assignment quick. The razor ball tournament starts tonight. Okay. Uh, right. Oh! Imogene! You've certainly shaken things up around here. Hell yeah. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. Uh huh. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day to day. Um. Yeah. It's good to see you back in the office. And I'd say it's good to be back if I hadn't returned to a mountain of paperwork. Well, better now, than being unemployed. Since you were new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm good. Good. The mission board is generally self-explanatory, anyway. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office. Ooh. So whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. Nice. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. Oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. No bloody problem. Um. I'm still gonna run this place someday. At this point, I wouldn't doubt it. Go check out the board, and if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open door policy, just for you. See another one. Don't fall in love with me, kid. You know what I mean. All right. So we get our own our own little office, eh? Well. Ah, here's my office. Well, well, well. Um, we got anything with a view? I'd like a view, please. Okay. Hack Trade Tower, Stroud Eklund Corp. Plant evidence at the Elios Retreat. Sabotage Hope Tech. Well, yeah. Okay. Ooh, hello. Thank you. Take that. Take these. Oh, take that. Oh god. Le Excuse me, lemon pass. Ah, the breach again. I mean, it's got a very low fire rate, hasn't it? Not exactly brilliant. Okay, well that's the. Yep. Just waiting for more info. Who are you, April As Sweeney? Usual. Imogene told me she hired another operative. Welcome to the team. I'm April. Or what's an operative do? I can't speak for what every operative does. Uh, people tend to keep their cards close to the chest in operations. Uh huh. But me personally, I'm a field agent. I specialize in gathering intel that our techs can't get, especially blackmail material on high profile clients and execs. Most assignments take me to the Astral Lounge or Paradiso. It's an incredible job. Great perks, too. I spend most of my time undercover living in luxury. Sounds perfect. Um, 
Yeah, what's it like having Emma Jean as a boss? It's great, as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of respect for Emma Jean. She's not afraid to take what she wants. <laughs> and hates paperwork as much as I do. But what I like the most? She trusts us to get things done. None of that micromanaging crap. Yeah, I like that. I'm headed into the field again soon. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Well, Lemon Pest. We secured ourselves an office. We got rid of bloody Ularu. And, um, yeah, saved the day. Saved the day once again. The Conquering Heroes. I've said it once, I'll say it again. You know, Lemon Pest, we never did meet up with those striker people, did we? Maybe we should go and see them. Get ourselves a drink. Conquering heroes, like I say. Let's go. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas come to hell. Do you just sit there and say that all the time? You need to stop sitting in the gutter, man. And get that stupid trash bag off you. Good God. All right. She looks kind of angry. Okay. What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. There you go. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? <sighs> yeah. If you're trying to scare me, you're failing. Badly. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you would never... Ugh. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. Yeah, well, what can you tell me about the upside strikers? We were one of the big dogs. Oh. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the Disciples. Now look at us. What are the Disciples like? I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the Disciples? <laughs> Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. Do they? And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. Uh, yeah. The disciples sound terrible. I want to talk to whoever is in charge. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Oh yeah, I've got the nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the upside strikers. Yeah, tell me the Briggs and I'll think about it. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Alright. Well, go on. Ugh. I'm assuming it's upstairs, yeah? Oh, here you go. There you go. Let them pass get out of the way. I mean, the, the jacket looks kind of cool, but I think you'd just get too hot in it. Cool is in the look of it, not like cool is in temperature. Why is there all stuff all over the floor? The strikers are upstairs, so we better be on our best behavior. Ah! Alright. Good God. Drink my cares away. Someone says they might want to join. A recruit? Been a while. I know, right? Savage says we can't go killing people around here anymore. We shouldn't be doing that anyhow. No, it's dumb. You want to join us? Maybe. We're a gang. You understand that, right? Not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. 
So are you really interested? My brother in Christ. I do all those things and more. Good God. Okay, um... I walk these streets, like you. I remember what the... Yeah, what B-words the disciples were, yeah. I wouldn't have pegged you for a crate rat like the rest of us. Really? The fact you can get out, that says something. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. Oh, of course. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. Well, if they don't I like prefer fish. we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Uh, well, why'd you keep the gang from killing people? Ebbside is where all the loser and sad stories end up once Neon and Administrator Bayou has used them up. Surviving here ain't easy. Sometimes blood's got to flow just to get food based on your plate. But we only take what we have to. Yeah, alright. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. Oh, God. What would you bring to the Strikers? Um. Yeah, I, uh, I used to live on these streets. I know how Neon works. And you managed to claw your way out. That's a hell of a thing. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. Um, hmm. I'm Ryujin's go-to problem solver. I take care of situations no one else can. That's no joke. If you really are one of Ryujin's cleaners. Wow. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. There always is. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. All right. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. Uh, do I really need to take a test? Come on, now. If you're a striker, it means the Disciples are going to come after you hard. But you do this, we know you can hack it and you're willing to risk your neck. Yeah, I'd like to end as many Disciples as I can, then. We're fully in alignment there. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Okay. Well, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. All right. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. I'm not a fish, dude. No I scales, you're nothing. Actually going to do this. Well, believe it. God, so bloody rude, honestly. You just didn't even offer me a drink, nothing. If you hurt any of the strikers, I will break you. You won't break anything, madam. You couldn't even break a sweat. All right. Come on, lemon pest. Let's um, mosey on out. Carolina Gortat. Hey, if you hear about any entry-level job openings, let me know. Okay. I've been trying to find an office job, but all of them require, like, five years of experience. Um, is there a job you prefer? To be honest, I don't really know what I want. I just know that if I don't find something soon, my parents won't just disown me. They'll have me stripped for parts. Oh, God. Um, where have you applied so far? Keltcorp and Straub, but I haven't heard back, and that's threatening to cut off the cred spigot. Um, hmm. Ryujin's hiring, if you heard the announcement. That's exactly why I haven't applied there. Way too much competition. What skills do you have? Well, I went to school for business, but it's not like I remember any of it. In my last interview, the recruiter asked me what I thought about Keynesian economics. I asked her, which planet is Keynesia on again? And she just looked at me and cringed. Oh dear. I don't blame her. 
Well, uh, what brings you here? Trying to shake off the stink from my last interview. And Dominic always gives good advice. Well, all right. Um, maybe somewhere else we could. Keltcorp and Stroud, but I haven't heard back, and that's threatening to cut off the cred spigot. Um. Yeah, it sometimes takes a while for employers to get back to you. But I need the credits now, and even if I do get hired, who knows when that first paycheck comes in? Well, all right. Let me know if you hear of any openings. Yeah, go to Ryujin. They'll 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 hook you up. All right, let's just get out. Jeez. Okay. Chunks, hey. Um, right. Here we are. Lemon pest. What? Now nah, there you are. Now, now. Lemon pest. Listen, listen. Stop, 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 stop. This is so cool. Wait here. I wouldn't dare wander off. Good boy. Okay. All right. Let's. Slates down there, is it? Don't mind me, folks. Just go slide on through here. Well, how would you put it here? That's my question. Whoa. Pest. You're looking as glorious as ever, Captain. Well, thank you. Uh, let's get moving. Yes, tracking your every move. I mean, don't don't track me, but yeah. All right, maybe we should pop into chunks, get a little bit of lunch. Do you think? Fancy some lunch? And then, wow, I like the outfit, madam. Um, and then maybe we'll go back and see the strikers. Oh, here we go. Nice table. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will uh, return to the Strikers, tell them the good news, and um, go from there. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>